Often, those of us who are awakened to the truth about who we are focus on the judgment that is to come upon those who oppressed us. But did you know that the shepherds and so-called stars and celebrities among us will also be judged? The Most High has noted those who, like the enemies of Israel, profited and made a name for themselves on the backs of his people. They have been gaining wealth at the expense of the weak. He will not ignore the sleight of hand of shepherds who twisted scripture to build kingdoms unto themselves or those who sell filth and wickedness to gain riches. Hear the words of Yah from Ezekiel 34. The first part of the prophecy is speaking directly to shepherds. And the word of the Most High came to me saying, Son of man, prophesy against the shepherds of Israel. Prophesy and say to them, Thus says the Most High Yah to the shepherds, Woe to the shepherds of Israel who feed themselves. Should not the shepherds feed the flocks? You eat the fat and clothe yourselves with the wool. You slaughter the fatlings, but you do not feed the flock. The weak you have not strengthened, nor have you healed those who were sick, nor bound up the broken, nor brought back what was driven away, nor sought what was lost, but with force and cruelty you have ruled them. Shepherds will need to examine themselves in the light of these words. What is the charge against them? They are not caring for Yah's sheep. Instead, some use the gospel to gain wealth at the expense of the sheep. The Most High is saying that these shepherds did not strengthen the weak sheep and they did not heal those who were sick. Please note that he also said the shepherds did not bring back what was driven away or sought what was lost. There are some who will say this message is not for today, that it was talking about the times when Israel was taken into captivity in the ancient days. But as I continue on, you're going to see that this is an end time message. There are others who will say that this message is talking about the Christian church. But this prophecy is speaking about the children of Israel who were scattered around the world. That didn't happen to the Christian church. It's also speaking of how the Most High will regather them and place them back in the promised land. The message is also a rebuke to those shepherds who know the truth about who the people are that are being referenced in this prophecy, but they refuse to speak the truth about it because they say it no longer matters. They purposely ignore texts that identify Yah's sheep scattered to the four corners. Why? Because they have been benefiting from the ignorance of the people. It's easy to rule over and exploit those who lack knowledge. But they will be judged because they have not used their gifts and talents to feed or heal the sheep. The sheep are not only sick physically. They're experiencing sickness emotionally, financially, and mentally. For those who know the truth about who the true Israelites are, they often say that they were kicked out of the land because of sin and disobedience. But I want you to hear what else played a part in that. It says they were scattered because there was no shepherd and they became food for all the beasts of the field when they were scattered. Have we not been offered up to the nations of the world and stripped of everything that had value? It says, my sheep wandered through all the mountains and on every high hill. Yes, my flock was scattered over the whole face of the earth and no one was seeking or searching for them. Find the people scattered over the whole face of the earth and you will identify the people the Most High is talking about in these verses. They were taken into other nations and used like cattle to bring wealth 
to the world, not the Christian church. World leaders came up with the lost tribes myth and religious leaders came up with a replacement doctrine, ignoring all of the breadcrumbs found in scripture that would locate and identify the people. It no longer matters because the church is the new Israel, they say. Those who came up with that lie will have to give an account for it. This is why the Most High is saying that his flock was scattered and no one was seeking or searching for them. Here is the judgment that will come to those shepherds. Therefore, you shepherds, hear the word of the Most High. As I live, says the Most High, Yah, surely because my flock became a prey, and my flock became food for every beast of the field because there was no shepherd, nor did my shepherds search for my flock, but the shepherds fed themselves and did not feed my flock. Therefore, O shepherds, hear the word of the Most High. Thus says the Most High, Yah, behold, I am against the shepherds, and I will require my flock at their hand. I will cause them to cease feeding the sheep, and the shepherds shall feed themselves no more. For I will deliver my flock from their mouths, that they may no longer be food for them. Here is how we know that this is an end times prophecy. It says, for thus says the Most High Yah, indeed, I myself will search for my sheep and seek them out. As a shepherd seeks out his flock on the day, he is among his scattered sheep. So will I seek out my sheep and deliver them from all the places where they were scattered on a cloudy and dark day. And I will bring them out from the peoples and gather them from the countries and will bring them to their own land. This did not happen when Messiah walked the earth. He says, I will feed them on the mountains of Israel, in the valleys and in all the inhabited places of the country. I will feed them in good pasture and their foal shall be on the high mountains of Israel. There they shall lie down in a good fold and feed in rich pasture on the mountains of Israel. I will feed my flock and I will make them lie down, says the Most High Yah. I will seek what was lost and bring back what was driven away. Bind up the broken and strengthen what was sick, but I will destroy the fat and the strong and feed them in judgment. This is what this awakening is about. The sheep are still scattered, and that is why he's searching them out. We know that this is talking about the last days because they are still scattered in the countries around the world. He's going to regather his flock. For those who say this happened in 1948, then you might as well admit that you do not believe the scripture because he is regathering all of the sheep. Those people who live in the Middle East saying that they are the chosen people identify with one tribe only, Judah. Where are the other tribes? Hear what this prophecy is saying. He is going to destroy the fat and the strong, and they are going to be judged. He's talking about those who ignore the plight of the chosen people. There are preachers who know who the people are that the Most High is talking about in Ezekiel 34, but they allow it to remain hidden because they don't want to upset the apple cart. And then there are the the middle-of-the-road preachers. They say whatever they need to say in the moment. How is it 
that T.D. Jakes made a claim publicly that he traced his ancestry to the Ebos. He said in a direct quote that Ebos are called black Jews, that they are industrious and they go after things. They are hardworking people, yet no one called him on the carpet about that statement. How odd. Interestingly, you heard no more about it. You will be hard pressed to find him mentioning that at all today. One day he's saying his ancestors are Jews, but not long ago he identifies himself as a Gentile. We know that in truth we are Israelites descended from Shem and the seed of Jacob, but the world uses that term to identify the chosen people. He sat on the sidelines and watched Kyrie go through a public lynching and pay out thousands of dollars simply for pointing people to a movie that could help them discover their identity. Had he made one statement in his defense, it could have made a huge difference. He could have given voice to the downtrodden, the oppressed, the broken, and the ones looked down upon in the world. How can you find bread and water and ignore those who are dying of thirst and hunger in your own community? How can you allow the truth to remain hidden and you remain silent? Now we're going to see that this judgment is also going to be against other sheep who, like the shepherds, gained wealth at the expense of the weak. And as for you, O my flock, thus says the Most High Yah, Behold, I shall judge between sheep and sheep, between rams and goats. Is it too little for you to have eaten up the good pasture, that you must tread down with your feet the residue of your pasture, and to have drunk of the clear waters, that you must foul the residue with your feet? And as for my flock, they eat what you have trampled with your feet, and they drink what you have fouled with your feet." We see here that he is judging between sheep and sheep. There are some among us who did quite well for themselves, and they did it the right way. But there are those who use the gifts, talents, and abilities given to us by the Most High to exploit other sheep. These are the people who make billions selling filthy music that encourage fornication, adultery, and other obscenity to our people. These are the women who make money by marketing half-naked pictures and engaging in other sensual acts to trap and ensnare the weak. These are the men who use their platforms to push the sale of drugs, alcohol, and thuggery. You make money and live high on the hog, but you sell sin to the people. You are treading down the residue of the pasture. You are drinking clear water, but the other sheep drink what you have fouled up with your feet. You market criminal behavior through your music, movies, and lifestyle, and you leave the weak to deal with the consequences in the ghetto you will not escape. You will be brought down low. Before the nations that will be judged experience total collapse, they will pull the red carpet right out from under you. Before it's all said and done, they will make sure that you know to them you are no better than the brothers you left fighting for their lives in the streets. Your sons and your daughters will be ensnared by the same wickedness that made you millions. Hear what the Most High is saying to you. Therefore, thus says the Most High Yah to them, Behold, I myself will judge between the fat and the lean sheep, because you have pushed 
with side and shoulder, butted all the weak ones with your horns, and scattered them abroad. Therefore I will save my flock, and they shall no longer be a prey, and I will judge between sheep and sheep. I will establish one shepherd over them, and he shall feed them, my servant David. He shall feed them and be their shepherd, and I, the Most High, will be their God. And my servant David, a prince among them, I, the Most High, have spoken. The final shepherd to come forth will be of the Most High's doing. He will have a heart towards the people and lead the people in righteousness. He will not make wealth and riches his priority. This message is the lead into the series that will be coming called Time for the Nations to Reap, Prepare for Your Captivity. We will look at the curses that were placed on the children of Israel. Because here in Deuteronomy 30 and 7, it says, Also, the Most High Yah will put all these curses on your enemies and on those who hate you, who persecuted you. Based on this verse, it says all, not some. All of the curses will be placed on those who hate us and persecuted us before that happens. We're going to see the Most High deal with those who say they are shepherds and the sheep among us who gain strength and wealth at the expense of the weak. You will be judged. You will give an account. You will have to answer for the things you've done. Please do me a favor and share this message far and wide. You never know who the Most High will cause to hear it. You're also welcome to subscribe if you have not already done so. Be blessed, family, and join me next time.